the lyrics are kind of um, really about what's been happening for the last kind of year or so um, since leaving kind of government, and it kind of it's kind of about putting those ghosts to bed a little bit and moving on and, and, and sort of learning from mistakes that perhaps I made um, that with that band and, and kind of uh, just really kind of finding who I am as an artist and as, as a songwriter and it, it just kind of um, kind of says goodbye and fuck you at the same time, right? I'm, I'm kind of nervous about it if I'm completely honest. I mean, you know, I'm kind of, this is almost a solo project to an extent with just a lot, a lot of people involved. And to kind of finally be putting something out and it's taken a year of my life to kind of to get this, this EP done. And well, actually there's an album um, that was written and it just felt right that an EP would be more uh, relevant and more kind of acceptable. And The whole thing giving it away free was just, just why the hell not? You know, I'm, I'm not in this for, for making money or to be famous or, or whatever. I learned that from when I was signed, right? So it's, it's really about just, just making music and putting it out there, you know, and whether 10 people like it or whether 10 million people like it, it doesn't really matter. You know, it, it's what's, it's what I kind of have to do for myself. You know, I'm a, I'm a creative person as such and if I'm not creating I'm, I'm destroying things you know so it's it's just really time to do stuff again the writing process is really quick I mean I was kind of on fire from from leaving Devon and I I'd kind of started I think I wrote something like 19 songs which would have been the second Devon album and I scrapped obviously all those um, and just started new and started fresh and it was nice to be writing something that wasn't um, like specifically for something you know it was just right for myself and whatever it came out came out whether that was going to be acoustic folk or black metal or whatever you know it was just just right and and it's kind of almost like the things everything before this was kind of the learning towards this and you know, I said to someone the other day that I feel like now I'm at my peak as a songwriter and maybe I'll get better or maybe I'll get worse, I don't know. But um, it feels completely like I'm in the right place right now, musically and mentally and whatever else. It was a long journey, I mean, I think my confidence was, 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 was at a low. My desire to play or do music was just really affected by what had happened and the way I was treated and the way the industry works. It was just like, it would have been a, tw it was a 20 year process um, to get there. And like, I guess it's the old thing of always be careful what you wish for, because one day your dreams might come true and, 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 and the, the, the dreams are actually were a nightmare. And it's not something I want to be involved in uh, again. Um, I don't like the way the record industry works and I don't want to be part of it and I'm happy just doing music for me and doing music as a hobby or whatever and it's nice that, that some people still um, give a shit about what I do and, and, and it's nice that people who've heard the track so far really like it and I just kind of I'm looking forward to kind of continuing the project and and, and who knows what's going to happen in the future you know Live would be um, interesting. Um, I'm at this point. I'll never say never. I have said I wouldn't do it again, um, just because in a live situation you're quite vulnerable, and I think that um, I'm really nervous and anxious to, to kind of want to do that, to be live again, and. Um, uh, there's just a whole um, bunch of logistical problems. I mean, the guys in the band I have are really busy musicians, so it's it's very difficult to kind of tie those down to any kind of rehearsal schedule or even touring or whatever. Um, but I'll never say never. Um, it, maybe one or two shows. Who knows? I I, I 
don't really know what the future is at this moment. At the moment, I'm just enjoying writing and recording, and and that's where I want to be. I mean, it's took a, it's it's not it is a solo project, perhaps, you know, and there's just a lot of people involved, and you know, a lot of people did a lot of hard work, you know, from 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 PJ and. He was just there from the beginning, kind of um, perhaps controlling my chaos, shall we say, um, to Jordan, who obviously recorded it and mixed, produced it, or whatever, um, at Scorpio Studios, and um, you know Simon's drumming on it, and Kev playing bass, and Mark Holland, who, who did all the keyboard arrangements and stuff. It's just a lot of people involved, you know, even Martin Walker, who's singing on the track, and Ben over in Germany there who's singing on another track, it's it's just like it's a lot of people involved in it and a lot of people put a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of work into it and, and I'm thankful that I they have this sort of um, people around me that can help me do this, you know, and I mean I'm only as good as I am, you know, and these people come and kinda of come in and, and make it just just something else and, and I'm I'm really thankful for that.